It's Albert from Rainwater Systems and today I'm talking about Roofing 101, specifically composition shingle roofs in San Diego. So we're on a, a typical gutter job, you know, it's great, love it. And this is a, a re-roof. So what it is, is it's a roof that's been installed over an old roof, so they didn't strip the old roof. Fairly common shouldn't be a problem but the flashing is not done in the right order so roofing 101 and sheet metal is the proper order is you've got the wood of the roof then you've got the sheet metal the strip edge then you've got the roofing paper then you've got the shingles so the correct orientation is wood metal paper shingles and if that's not done in the right order what it does is it directs a certain amount of water behind the fascia board so a lot of times when I look at gutters and um, you know I'll notice these streaks behind the gutters and I'd never seen this before until I got to San Diego but you can kind of see the scalloped edge there but worse is when you when you actually open up the roof to inspect, what you see is that the sheet metal is on top of the paper. So what that means is that the roofer guys have done the sheet metal and it's not done in the correct order. What that does is it basically ruins the fascia boards. You can kind of see from the staining here where that water is coming out is actually where this drip edge is about right there. In other words, that's an inch and a half by inch and a half drip edge. You can see the old paper here. And so people will be replacing their fascia boards and chasing that problem and you know getting termite repair getting this roof decking replaced when the culprit really is the roofing and the sheet metal sheet metal is a specific trade roofing is a specific trade so when you're getting the roofers to do the sheet metal of your house it's like getting the the muffler guy to work on your transmission it's like they both work on the same product but they work on different parts of the product and you know it's just part of the nature of the game the roofers generally do more gutters and sheet metal than gutter guys and sheet metal guys because it's just part of their package deal but what i see is at least 35 percent of the roofs in san diego brand new roofs are being installed incorrectly solar companies in general tend to do a better job my background is sheet metal. I was a licensed sheet metal contractor for 22 years. I have a landscape license because now I do more drainage, but it's part of what our, I'm doing these days is consulting roof inspections, home buyers inspection services, and most of the problems I see with the roof I can spot from the curb because if you've got gutters on your house, and you've got active staining coming from behind the gutters, the first thing you look at is the relationship of the flashing to the shingles. And you can usually lift it up, and if the paper is underneath the metal, then you have roofing fail. Roofing failure, they didn't pass roofing 101, nothing about your roof is done right. So that's the unfortunate reality that I have to tell customers when I'm doing estimates virtually every day and I don't know what the percentage of companies doing it this way all I know is that I, I when I go to do estimates and I and I deal with people they they have a brand new roof and I and I see these issues and I'll be like well I'll do your gutters but and I tell them that their brand new roof is installed incorrectly then they go to their roofer and the roofer gets really mad at me and says, I don't know what I'm talking about. But the difference between me is 
I my background is sheet metal and I'm a small company super protective of my reviews and it's better for me to point out the flaws that I see so part of my ongoing quest to educate customers about the drainage and roofing issues in San Diego uh, is pointing out that roofing 101 is a major failure in San Diego roofing and it's buyer beware have a nice day